Okay. So recently, recently uh, I uh, posted the full series of the uh, Archtop Mandolin build, and uh, one of the comments that I got on a Facebook group um, for specifically using Fusion 360 was uh, the process that I used to uh, model the arch top. Um, a lot of people seem to be stuck on this. Um, the way I used to do it in the past was all parametric in AutoCAD and I was never satisfied. Everything was very square and clunky. Um, but Fusion um, is a great tool for modeling um, once you get used to it. It takes a little work but I'm just going to go through my process. Um, if you have any comments yes please let me know I'm always learning when it comes to fusion and um, everything I know here I've learned from other videos and from experimentation so um, please share your experience so I have a couple of sketches here um, first I have this top view outline sketch with the corner blocks and I've actually um, done an offset here on the outside to make a line outside of the stock um, because this is the line that the body's going to be in and I want to have a little extra material to cut off by hand. Um, so I've added that extra space. Um, I've also put in this uh, contour line which is basically, if you look from this angle, this is your contour of the arches um, looking at the instrument from the side. And we're going to use that, or we're going to use both of these to uh, to model this shape. Um, we're going to be doing it in Sculpt, so go ahead and uh, get yourself into Sculpt and we're going to create a face. A face. Um, so I was kind of stuck here. I'm going to create a symmetry here. Um, okay, so I've got a little bit of error here and I'm going to use Merge Edge to take care of that. So you can see here we have three faces and two faces and that can that'll cause a triangle. Um, I'm going to try my best to avoid triangles. Now obviously um, there's going to be some of them but I'm going to try to keep everything as square as possible. Um, that just really kind of helps out in the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a face in here. Okay, at this point, um, you kind of lose your symmetry from side to side. So no, these aren't perfect, but I can continue to work on those. Um, it's really just a matter of just moving things around until you get a shape you really like. Um, 
I really don't like some of this. Um, this just does not look good to me. <laughs> um, but, well, I think there is... yeah. Anyways, but you're going to end up with some triangles in here. You need to continue to manipulate these around until you get it. So there's some pinches in here. There's some uneven shapes. Um, there's definitely so. What I think would be a good idea is to remove some edges. That's one of the things you can do. You can go in and weld vertices to kind of like, you know, get rid of some of these triangles. Um, So now kind of have a rough shape. Now if, if I was actually going to produce a model from this, I would just go through and refine this shape right here because really everything, your top, your back, everything's going to come from this. <clears throat> so um, I would just go through and refine this, spend a lot of time. <clears throat> I'm just trying to show you how to go about making this body, so I'm going to continue on. Um, so go back like here. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go back here before the I created that shape. I'm gonna construct an offset plane. Ugh. back into editing this form. I'm going to copy it, paste it, and I'm going to move it down. Point one, two, five. There we go. So now I have this mesh completely encapsulated, right? Um, so the next, next thing to do is to stitch them all together. So I'm going to stitch the top. You can do these all as once. Well, let's try it. Let's see if it works. Sometimes it doesn't work to stitch all three of them together at the same time. Yep. So it worked. So now we have a single body in this plate shape and we can add braces to this we can do whatever we want we can go into cam and start milling this um, so it's lumpy it's imperfect but I didn't spend a ton of time um, 
And that is the basics of how you shape an arch top.